Welcome to Real Physics. This is a series of short clips about unsolved mysteries in physics and today I'm talking about mass, in particular masses of elementary particles. We can measure these masses very precisely. We know, for instance, the mass of the electron is 9.11 times point, uh, 10 to the minus 31 kilograms and the mass of the proton is 1.67 uh, something times 10 to the minus 27th kilograms. We can precisely measure these masses but we cannot calculate them. And this is kind of embarrassing because as a theoretical physicist you have to explain things and to calculate the numbers nature shows you. So, um, and it's interesting that there is a problem as a matter of principle. Because suppose there is a beautiful theory of particle physics and elementary particle physics and you can calculate the mass of an electron, okay? How should that occur? Well, you have a formula, you have numbers in this formula, but you need to produce the unit of kilograms, okay? And all what you have is constants of nature. You can just grab the unit of kilogram out of nowhere. So combine all these known constants of nature of elementary particle physics and you can show very easily that it's impossible to generate the unit of kilogram. Okay? I give you 1000 bucks if you succeed in calculating the unit of mass from these constants. It's just impossible. You can prove that. So the question is what's wrong here? Elementary particle physicists usually dismiss gravity and don't care about the gravitational constant. They say it's so weak, we don't need that. But it's a very elementary problem that you cannot calculate any mass. Okay? So, if you want to calculate masses, you need to use the gravitational constant and in turn you need to ask where does this gravitational constant come from? And this is a very interesting question related to other thoughts of Ernst Mach and Mach's principle I will address in another video but this is just to say we can't calculate masses this is a problem if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like it and if you're interested in fundamental problems of physics subscribe to this channel